2005, we were beginning to bring kindergartners over. Every year after that, we added another grade. So this year, in 2013-14, um, we've got the fifth grade. So these kids um, have been coming to the Harwood for these multiple visits uh, since they were kindergartners and some of them since they were preschoolers. and it's beautiful with Enos Garcia. It's a few blocks away. We drive over, go get the class that's scheduled for that day. They're always so excited to see us um, as soon as we appear in the doorway. Harwood, we get to go to the Harwood today. So it's always great excitement. And then we, we gather the kids, walk them over. We have to cross the street a couple places where there's one place where there's no crosswalk. So it's, um, we're working on that. And one way to simplify it was um, to have uh, work with a school that was in, within walking distance so that we could add the walking flavor, the sort of the exercise, the social aspect of walking with the kids to and from. And we visit the museum for about 45 minutes. You know, it's not a cookie cutter lesson plan. It's like, okay, so today we're going to talk about um, the art of everyday life, these paintings that people do. This is what some artists do, it's this theme. And then you get to paint something that's reflective of your own life. We also like to work in the museum once to have uh, an experience of making art in the museum so that has to be completely non-messy and um, this year what we're doing instead of bringing the whole art project into the museum this is um, Rebecca's idea is to sketch in the museum and so we're focusing more on the process of an artist the idea that you don't finish your artwork in one sitting one day one session with us and in addition to what the standards are, we base our projects on what is in the museum. A big thing right now is the idea of 21st century skills, and that um, is about you know, building self-confidence, um, art is process, and really just helping them become, um, again, better citizens of the world. I do know that the favorite part of their visit is to come to the studio. Yes. 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 What is it? What do you think it is, guessing from what you see in front of you? Yes. They don't seem to have a favorite. I know they love to paint. They love the printmaking when we do that. Um, they loved everything that we do. We don't usually get any resistance or any um, kind of, I don't want to do that or that's not something I want to do once in a while. And we find a way to um, get the child engaged and they end up having a good time, always. We really try to tie it back into connecting it to their lives. So, you know, it's grown in popularity, and we really wish we could serve the entire county, but we're limited, obviously, with space and staffing and time. We raise every penny for Jane's salary and any teaching assistance, and in addition to that, all the art materials. And we raise it through grants, private donors, and really just going out into the community and asking for money. Well, we like to use materials that are kind of reusable, or very simple materials, so that the kids don't get this idea that when they come to the museum to make art, it's something that they can only do here. We want to empower them to know that materials are very accessible, but many of these kids have nothing. So it's really digging deeper and deeper and deeper into a work of art, um, rather than just judging it from I like or I don't like. It's thinking about the whole overall creative and critical process of art making. It's invaluable, This and everybody loves it. It's also just a very nurturing and um, cheerful place.